Okay, so... Hi, I am Elizabeth, and I cannot draw. So today we're gonna play Pokemon Ruby Destiny, Reign of Legends. I have no idea what this is. I downloaded it 5,000 years ago. And... I don't know, let's see what it's about. Welcome to Pokemon Ruby Destiny. Reign of Legends. Did I say League of Legends earlier? I might have. Oops. Okay. First things first, of course. There we go. Mm-hmm. This all... Well, we gotta change this. You know we have to. Ooh. That's nice. Yada yada yada. Start. Oh! Well, hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Dude, I've lived here for years. My name is Birch. But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Yeah, you wish. This is what we call a Pokemon. Why is Meryl sad? That's not even Meryl, that's Azuru. <laughs> this world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon, at times as friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokémon. To unravel Pokémon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? Are you a boy, or are you a girl? And... Let's just go back. I've never used this name in a Pokemon game before, but for the sake of consistency, let's just go by Eliza. So, it's Eliza. For the moment, sure. Ah, okay. You're Eliza, who's moving to my hometown of Sunford. I don't remember that being the starting town in Ruby. I get it now. Alright, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon, where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Or, you know, just hours and hours alone with your Game Boy and Game Boy Advance DS, etc. But you know, well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Yay! You know, I always wondered about this. Who puts their child in the moving truck? I'm sure a million other people have made this observation, but that's just weird. Nice textures. Eliza, we're here, honey. It must be tiring, riding with our things in the moving truck. Well, I bet you wouldn't know, because I'm sure you came here in, like, a convertible or something. Well, this is Sunford Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? Maybe. And you get your own room, Eliza. Let's go inside. See, Eliza, isn't it nice in here, too? Okay, whatever. The Movers Pokemon do all the work of moving us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. That is slave labor, ma'am. Eliza, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad brought you a new clock to mark our move here. You mean I get to have a father? Don't forget to set it. Hey, you guys all right? Um, sir, that's inappropriate. 
Oh my goodness, a GameCube! It's a Nintendo GameCube. A Game Boy Advance is connected to serve as the controller. Nobody ever did that, I promise you. Mom might like this program. Better get going. Eliza booted up the PC. Can never remember. There we go. There we go. I forget when they stopped doing that, but at some point they stopped. Okay. The clock is stopped. Better set it and start it. Oh god, I haven't used an analog clock in too long. Um, let's go with 3 p.m. because that seems like a good time to start a Pokemon adventure. Okay, well, just before 3 p.m. It's close enough. Yeah. Eliza, how do you like your new room? It's fine. You can kind of see through the floorboards a little bit. We might want to patch that up, but other than that... Oh, good! Everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything in downstairs, too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. Oh, you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. It's just going to be tutorial, and I don't need any tutorial. Fine. Eliza flipped open the notebook. Adventure rule number one. Open the menu with start. There's no start on my keyboard. Adventure rule number two. Record your progress with save. This is so fourth wall breaking. The remaining pages are blank. No, I need more direction. Okay, that's select. There's start. <laughs> oh, look at the wind in my hair and everything. Okay. Well, downstairs. Oh, Eliza! Eliza! Quick! Come quickly! It's no soft gem! Maybe Kevin will be on! Who's Kevin? We brought you this report from in front of Snow Soft Gem. Oh, it's over. I think Kevin was on, but we missed him. Oh yes, one of Dad's friends live in t lives in town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Okay. I mean, I was going to anyway, since I sort of had a hallucination. He literally visited me in a dream. So, here we go been too long. Point. Oh, hello. And you are? That's exactly who I am. Oh, you're Eliza, our new next door neighbor. Hi. We have a son about the same age as you. Our son was excited about making a new friend. Well, that's sweet. Our son is upstairs, I think. Okay. Hey, I'm your new friend. All set and ready to roll. I can't do, like, a guy voice. I'll do my best. Now I'm gonna, huh? The same, bruh. Hey! Who are you? Ever heard of knocking, Missy? Well, fine, I just won't be your friend then. Yeah. Oh, you're Eliza, aren't you? Moved in next door, right? I didn't know that you were a girl. Since my dad, Professor Birch, said our, that our new neighbors related to the gym leader in Snowsoft. Um. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. Let's just move on. My name's Jason. So hi, neighbor. Hey, wanna battle me? Yeah, I'll battle you with my fists. I don't even care. It's, oh darn, I forgot. I'm supposed to go help my dad with his research. Some other time, okay? I'm gonna beat you so bad. Anyway. How about we just loot everything in here? I'll steal his GameCube, sell it on eBay, we'll be good. Ma'am, your son is a jerk. Okay. 
Okay, ignoring everyone, going to get my Pokemon. I can hear someone shouting down the road here! What should I do? What should we do? Somebody has to go help. I'm just gonna go steal a Pokemon. <laughs> help me! Hello! You over there! Please, help! In my bag! There's a Pokeball! Nope. <laughs> Where are you going? Don't leave me like this! How about I go in here? Nope. Okay. You know, I've never done a full playthrough of Ruby with just Mudkip as my starter. I've done it with the other two. And I've had teams with Mudkip and Mudkip Kip related Pokemon on it. Let's go for it. Aww, so cute! Yeah. Okay. Take this guy down. I forgot to narrate that bit. I am not used to doing voiceover stuff. Well, you saved me! Thanks a lot! Oh? Hi! You are Eliza! Eliza! This is not the place to chat, so come by my Pokemon lab later, okay? Oh, I guess it's later. So, Eliza, I've heard so much about you from your brother. Wait, I have a brother? I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. But the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a plum. I guess you're as good as Kevin. <laughs> so Kevin's my brother? Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, as thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. Eliza received the Mudkip. Yay! While you're at it, why not give a nickname to that Mudkip? Let's name him... Well, Percy would be a good name. Let's name him Percy. If you work at Pokemon and gain experience, you'll make a good trainer. My kid's out on Pass Path. Pass Path. That is not a pleasant thing to say at all. Pass path. Ew. Catching Pokemon. Say, could I ask you to go and tell t to come back? Could I ask you to go and tell to come back? Huh. I have something for the two of you. Sure. Great. You should not be having any trouble going there. But be careful, okay? Okay. Well, at any rate, got my first Pokemon. Cute little Percy. Let's, uh, not what I meant to click. Let's, uh, take a look at him again. Aw, look at him. Aw. He's mild. Oh my goodness. Well, at any rate, we got our first Pokemon. I got Percy the Mudkip who I'm just absolutely in love with. And now is a good time to end this portion of the video. Okay, so once again, I am Elizabeth and I cannot draw. I haven't drawn in years, at least not like seriously. I'm going to use this series to get myself back into drawing. I am here to draw Percy. Why is this red? I do not want red. No. I'll do a nice sketch blue, which is perfect because he's a mudkip. We're here to draw Percy. 
Isn't it cute? So this is just the reference photo from um, Mudkip's Wikipedia entry. Isn't he cute? Anyway, Percy has a mild nature. Mild Percy. He's just a sweetheart. Okay, so let me see if I can remember how to do this. I just want to draw a nice, relaxed Percy. Like, probably right after that battle, because he's so low level, he's still, he's still just a little guy. He's so low leveled, he probably just wanted to take a nap, and I'm not happy with that at all. Let's, uh... Oh, I'm nervous about this. Lanart was never my strong suit. Let's make this smaller. And judging by how short the sketch strokes are. <laughs> no! Okay, let's just face it, it's going to be wobbly, but I want to actually finish the sketch instead of giving up on it.
I'm scared, but I kind of want to zoom out and turn the sketch off to see how the line art's looking. I mean, the fin is atrocious, but... I, need, I have some weighting issues down here. Let's see if we can fix that. Whoop. Okay, theoretically, the line art's done. However, <laughs> I'm gonna turn this sketch off and see a hundred things. Okay, I see issues with some of the design work, some of the actual choices I made during the sketch. Like, and some of my, like, actual hand work. Again, that is there. It's there. <laughs> we, can, we can color him now. Let's color him. Um, yeah.
so for anyone who's actually hoping to glean some sort of tutorial knowledge from this, what I've always liked to do is do like huge blocks of color and then go in and clean it up. Um, at least digitally. Of course, that's not always an option when you work with traditional materials. Kind of hard to do this with watercolor. Oh goodness, look at that line work. Oh, there he is. There's my boy. Oh, little mud kit, little Percy. <laughs> We're going to go on, a, on an adventure, boy. I don't know what kind of adventure because I have no idea what this ROM is. It's fan made. I don't know what this fan made game is, but. Hopefully, we'll survive it. I should look it up. I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that after I finish making this video. Just to make sure that you're in no danger at all. And if you are, I'll send you to a different game. Yeah. You my boy. Let's color your rug.
<laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's just a cute little thing. Okay, well, here he is, guys. Here's Percy on this cute little lily pad rug. I love him. But that's it with this sketch and with this episode, if this becomes a series. I'll be back soon with more adventures of Percy. He's so cute. I'm, I'm actually, I'm, fa I'm fairly happy with this sketch, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it has been a minute, and I know I just did like blocks of color, I didn't do any shading or anything fancy, and goodness gracious, that, that lily flower looks like actual nothing, but, you know, here he is. Progress. Okay. Well, I'll I'll talk to you guys next time.